Could these be the remnants of an ancient civilization containing multiple pyramid structures older than those found at Giza? And the answer, I believe, is a resounding yes. Yes, they are. So stay tuned. See for yourself. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. My name is Michael Andrews. I'm a 42-year-old father of six, and I work at Burger King. Now I know what you're thinking. You poor! I know. I know. You'd be right. I am so poor! But that didn't stop me from discovering not one, but two ancient discovery sites. And you can too, thanks to Google Earth. Stay tuned, and I'll show you how, and you can follow along. But before we get to it, I'm going to need you to click that like and subscribe button. And if you don't care, please share. I would like to have at least a little bit of professional opinion, feedback, confirmation, maybe even some credit. Thank you, and please enjoy. So let's get to it. And where do we start? Why, X marks the spot, of course. A large land area on the ocean floor marked, scarred, and scraped by what could only have been an industrialized operation. It turns out the Gulf of Mexico sits in a unique geographical area that allows for large salt deposits. Salt was very important in the ancient times. It was their monetary staple. Those who controlled the salt controlled the world. And in order to house such a large population for this endeavor, we soon discover what I call the barracks, a large squared off area with obvious infrastructure and design, and clearly connected to what seems to be a road which then leads to the only gap in an ancient ridgeline, where we find the first signs of what I believe will prove to be at least seven pyramids in all, structure lining a long 24 mile avenue. And then there's a second road that leads back to an obvious site that is relatively close to X marks the spot. So let's recap. Beginning this time with what I believe is multiple pyramids lining a long progression avenue. This site is also connected to what seems to be Two roads, walls, and or tunnels. One on the right leads to the barracks. The other on the left connects directly to the work area. And of course, X marks the spot. This is where I believe the majority of the world's ancient salt supply originated. Thus concludes my first discovery of an ancient civilization, which I like to call the Gulf of Mexican Salt Mining Civilization. And now, to the main event. Let's head to the Red Sea. Zoom in to Haliyeb, Egypt, Back on the bottom of the ocean floor, you obviously see what appears to be a man-made wall, with angles and all. And of course, right here is what seals the deal. Three pyramids lined up at the Orion's belt, as well as three smaller ones in a row down here, and then two right here that may prove to rise over two miles from base to tip. Thus concludes my second discovery of an ancient civilization. I do believe that both discovery sites correlate with one another in both design and time of existence. So, a final recap. It starts with a 1,300 mile long man-made wall, with angles and all, found in the Red Sea around Haliyeb, Egypt. Also seeming to pair three pyramid-like structures that happen to resemble Orion's belt, along with others that may align with the constellation as well. There may also be two super mega pyramids on the other side of the wall. Is it possible to drain the Red Sea? So what do you think? So, once again, Please click that like and subscribe button and share, share, share. I really appreciate it. And here is the following people that inspired this video. ShopMrBeast.com All hail SML. Go Lance and Logan. Catch me knuckles, Norse nuts. Y'all the legends blowing up. I also like to watch Hannah Lee Dugan, SS Sniper Wolf, and Life with Brian. PewDiePie, PewDiePie, PewDiePie. Props to FGTV Duddy. Thank y'all and have a good day.